Hello friends and welcome to Edupedia World Videos. This is the course Basics of Programming in C language and what we are doing right now is string manipulation inside C or string handling inside C language. So till now we have just done the basics of how strings are interpreted inside C language. So strings are handled as character arrays but null terminated character arrays. So null termination is very important and we have done some basic functions and uh, now we are trying to use the functions in applications okay so now the, in this particular tutorial what we will do is we will create a program inside C language to reverse a string okay so let us create a new project and I'll name it as strrev okay so here our project is now ready inside this main function main file I will just remove this printf statement and inside the include files first we need is stdio.h which is standard input output.h another file that I am including is string.h which is very important for string function let me zoom into the code a bit so that it is more clear okay now what we'll do is we will create our function to reverse the string so in this main function first we need to declare the various variables to reverse the string so first variable I will be using to store the original string so let that variable be named as word but the data type would be character obviously so it will be a character array and length we can specify as 32 so that I have taken so maximum length of the string that we can handle in our code over here would be 32 okay so after that what we have is we will need a variable to store the length of this string so length is an integer term so we will use an integer data type okay, length and we will initialize it to 0 so apart from it we also need an index of the string initialize it to 0 too so why do we need this index is that we will be using it inside a loop okay so we will need a loop to reverse uh, the string we will parse the string character by character and then reverse it okay so we have taken an index integer variable apart from it we also need another string variable in which we will store the reversed string okay so let me name it as rev and its length should also be equal to my original string because that much of characters I need to store at least okay so this is now ready my declaration is now ready I need to first take the string as an input from the user so for that let's print a message on the screen we will use the statement printf and then we will pass a constant message that we want to print initially we can just have a new line for the first line to be printed on the screen we should print it start it with a new line okay, so backslash n is a escape sequence for new line character okay, now we will have please enter a string to be reversed. So we'll print this line on screen and after that user will understand that he has to enter a string to be reversed. Now this string we will take in input by the statement scanf. The format of scanf is that first we have to specify the format specifier of the data type of the variable that we want to take in as input. The format specifier for string variables is percentage s so although there is no separate data type for string variables in C language but there are separate format specifiers which is percentage s okay variable name that we will be passing over here is simple word why not we are appending it by ampersand okay because the name of an array is itself a pointer to the first location of that particular array so we do not need to give address of operator okay so here we have taken the string as an input from the user now let us see how we will reverse it so for reversing what we will need is let me explain it to you inside a comment okay suppose our string is this a b c d e okay this is a five letter string so the index of the first character will be 0 1 2 3 4 these will be the indices of these five letters so what our intention now is that we want to store the e or the last element which is at the fourth index 
of my original string to the zeroth index of my reversed string. So it should start from E, then D, C, B, and A. Okay, so the indexes should be swapped. So index of the first character of my original string will be the last index of the reversed string. Similarly, the second character will be placed at the second last or the third index of my reverse string and so on. So how to achieve this? Here we have to increment these indices one by one and these indices we have to decrement one by one. Okay, so first I will pass, okay, my first index is zero. So I will pass that copy zeroth index to the last index of the reverse string. Now, how will I get last index? I will get it using the strlen function, which is string length. Okay, what does string length return? String length returns the number of characters inside that string. So inside this string, there are five characters, but our last index is four. So always our last index is one minus the string length. Okay, so what we will do is to get the last index, we will do it length minus one. Okay, that will give us the last index, which is four. Now to increment this, it is very easy inside loop. We will just have index plus plus and it will keep on incrementing it 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. But to decrement this, either we take a separator variable, but we can also do that using our existing variables. What we will do is, here we are adding 1 to index every time and here we will keep on subtracting that index from length minus 1. Okay, let us see how to do that. First, let me calculate the length of this string. I have already taken a variable length. Inside it, I will store the length of the string and the function that I'll use to calculate the length of the string is strlen. To this I have to pass the name of the character array. So it will return the length and it will be stored in my variable length. Okay. Now I'll have the for loop. Okay. For index is equal to zero, then the condition is index less than length. So it is not less than equal to length, it is less than length because uh, I don't want to reach at the value which is equal to length. Okay, so our length is 5 but our index is always remaining 1 less than 5 because my string indexes or array indices in C language start from 0. Okay, so we have to go to 1 less than the length. So that is why it is less than length, not less than equal to length. Then we will have index plus plus, which will increment the index once in every iteration. Okay, so this is done. Now let us see how will we implement this thing that we have to store at the last index of our output string, which is reverse. So last index would be length minus one, which we have just discussed. This will give us the last index. We have to store the first character of our string word. First character would be in zero index. So now this is correct for one element. The first element of this word will be stored in the last position of the reverse string. Do that in a loop. What we'll do is to, we have to increment this one by one. So here we will straight away give index which is already getting incremented one by one in this. And here also we will subtract index from this. Why? Because first, first of all it will return length minus one, which is say if the length is 5, this will give 4 for the first time. Second time, this will also have the index. Index will also be incremented to 1. So it will be length minus 2 and it will be 5 minus 2. Okay, and the third time it would be 5 minus 3. And similarly, it will go on decreasing by 1 at every iteration of the slope. So this logic will work and at the end we will print our Result. So to print our result, the first we have to print the new line character, then the constant string, the reversed string is colon, and after that we will print our string. So first we have to append the format specifier for the strings, which is percentage s, and here we will give our reversed string rev. Okay. Let us now and save and compile this code. If it compiles successfully, we check the messages. Yes, it has compiled successfully. Now let us try and run this code. Okay, so it has now executed and it is asking me to enter a string to be reversed. Okay, so I will for the 
understanding purposes let me straight away entered 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so it should print 9 to 1 in reverse order so that is what it is doing over here 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 now let us try and enter a word for this let me enter a word say hello so it should print o double l e h and that is what it is printing over here so our logic is working absolutely as we have made it okay so as we have designed it it is working in the same fashion so i hope that it was understood to you all these functions str le and to calculate the length of the string and then we have also learned how to iterate through the characters of the string so for the original string we are iterating uh, in ascending order first the zero character then first second third and so on and for the reversed string we are iterating in a descending order to achieve this descending order what we have done is we have just subtracted our index from a constant value and this constant value is length minus one that is how we have achieved the descending order okay and our original characters in the ascending order are stored in our reversed variable in the descending order and that is how our actual string is getting reversed okay, so we'll be doing certain more examples in string manipulation in C language which will teach you how actually you have to play with strings okay. so I hope you understood this and thanks for watching the course basics of programming in C language thank you